Consumer debt keeps hitting new records. Fed officials say they aren't confident they have done enough to get the inflation beast back in its cage. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. I am Devlin Steele, Director of Education at Augusta Precious Metals, here with a look at some of this week's biggest economic news. Let's get started. On Tuesday, the Federal Reserve Bank of New York issued its quarterly report on household debt and credit. According to the numbers, household debt in the third quarter rose 1.3% to a new total of $17.29 trillion. And credit card debt has outpaced the increase in overall household debt, jumping 4.7% to $1.08 trillion. You might be wondering if consumer credit delinquencies rose last quarter. The New York Fed reports that 3% of all outstanding debt was delinquent by the end of the third quarter, up from 2.6% in the second quarter. On Thursday, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell spoke at an event hosted by the International Monetary Fund in Washington, D.C. In his remarks, the chairman said that he and his colleagues are not confident they've done enough to bring inflation back down to 2%. Powell acknowledged the progress that has been made on inflation up to this point, but emphasized that in the opinion of the central bank, the process of getting inflation sustainably down to 2% has a long way to go. Finally, if you're finding it difficult to locate your favorite items at the grocery store, you might want to make a note of this. Global logistics problems now are at their lowest point in the last 26 years. This is according to the October reading of the New York Fed's Global Supply Chain Pressure Index. Index readings greater than zero suggest supply chain pressures above the historical average, while those below zero suggest below average pressures. Last month, the index dropped to minus 1.74. That's the lowest it's been since 1997. As consumer debt reaches new heights, and inflation remains a concern, the economic landscape appears to be on shaky ground. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.